Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hayden Raven, and welcome to Remembrance. Now, Remembrance was just released on the indie horror scene about four days ago, and I'm quite glad to be able to play it. You see, this game came out, and I was surprised to find that it only had 34 or 35 people play it, so I downloaded it, and I really got a good first impression from this game, just because the music. Music is a very important aspect of video gaming for me, and I think it's one of the most, if not the most important aspect, and I gotta tell the developer, whoever you are, you got it right. This sets the tone of a very strong, very solemn, very deep kind of game. Now, I must say, out of respect for the developer and out of respect for the game itself, there was a disclaimer at the beginning to get to the title screen concerning cancer and mental illness subject matter. So if you are susceptible to emotional relapse, perhaps this game might not be for you. However, I encourage everyone, no matter what state of being, no matter what state of mind that you're in, enjoy a game unbiased, unprotected, and happily. Because I do believe that Remembrance is hiding something for us to find. Us as players and viewers and watchers, observers, that's what we are. And so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get into this deep game because that's what I know it is. That's what I know it is. So let us begin. Move mouse to look and click to interact. And was the... W-A-S-D to move. Ooh. It's got that classic horror. Hi, Dave here. Steve from China. Oh, I was just wondering if you're okay. I mean... Love from China, I know Steve. you're not okay. Okay? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, send me an email. Bye. Okay, bud. Bye. So, what we just picked up is a Hi postcard. Dave, uh, from Steve again. Are you, Where's that are coming you from? At home? Could you get in touch? I'm, I'm getting a bit worried, that's all. Cool. Where's that coming from? Another one? Okay. So, I wanted to... Oh, crap. I can't pick up that postcard again. It was a postcard from China... Um, but I, did, I couldn't read it. Dang it, that was so... Oh. So, key factor. Can't re-pick up things. My diary. 16th of May. Math is stupid. Hi, diary. Mom gave me this diary. This is sleeping. Five goes on trips and... Present, presents for me. Dad did not want me to get... Did not want me to see her in bed. I pro, in bed, I promise not to. Her cursive is kind of hard to read. Dad let me watch stories for a long, long, long time. 19th of May. Hi, diary. Mom sleeps. This is very... She's very sleep... Sleepy mommy. She's a very sleepy mommy. Daddy needs... Daddy needs to me. He makes funny noises. I love my daddy. He tells me the funny stories. 19th of May. Oh, wow. Hi, Diary. That's Mom a cool feature. Sleeps. She is very sleepy, Mommy. Daddy reads to me. He makes funny noises. I love my daddy. He tells the best funny stories. Oh, wow. That's going to make this game even more tragic. Is that audio feature. Oh, wow. Again, developer, just compliments, 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 because you've done it right. Oh, wow. I don't... I don't feel the urge to make jokes at this kind of game. Just because... I, I do feel for... I do feel for this kind of game. It's very deep. It's very solemn. <laughs> Sharks. I believe that's a bull shark, if I'm correct. I believe my friend is a shark studier. Student of sharks. One who studies sharks, marine biologist. He would kill me if he saw this. What are you? Why are you on? Can I turn you off? Hello? It would appear not. Dishes stacked up. A pizza box. 
Oh, hey, Guido. 12th of June. Hi, Diary. Today is Tuesday, June 12th, 2018. Matt took my pencils. He is not nice. He is not nice at all. <sighs> wow. Just so... It's so good. And I believe I've entered a sprint sequence. I'm not entirely sure. But I am pressing shift. So perhaps this is an elevated speed. 18th of April, 2016. Millie just gave me a ring as a present. It's one of those gaudy plastic things you get from a vending machine. <laughs> she noticed I no longer wear the wedding ring. She notices everything. She made me a card with just two of us on it. Ali is absent and I was strangely hurt at first. Then, maybe it is a good thing. It is just two of us from now on. Oh, that's sad. So... When this game's disclaimer told me about cancer and mental illness, I believe that the father and perhaps the daughter entered a state of mental illness while losing the mother to cancer. Oh, that's adorable. That's awesome. Wow. I... I'm not entirely sure if this is a horror game, because... It is certainly setting a tone for sadness and an experience, but to say it's a horror game, I'm not entirely sure. It is titled Remembrance, so that brings me a lot of questions concerning why are we supposed to remember the mother? Is that is this forgetting aspect of be, just the two of us angering her? It's perhaps being very deceiving of a game. I believe that. It is a very de it is a deceiver. Oh, this is my bedroom office question mark. Both. That's what I'm living in. Here we go. Sixteenth of May, twenty fifteen. Kimo seems to be working, although Ali doesn't like wearing the wig. Millie thinks she looks a little funny without her hair, but says she's still pretty. <laughs> we told Millie that Ali was on a short trip. It's easier that way. Oh. I also bought her a diary. A little gift for Mummy's trip. Even has a lock and key. I think she'll love it. To do. First payments for chemo. I can't I can't read it, unfortunately. Maybe you guys can. Second of June, twenty fifteen. Ali was moved to palliative care today. I don't know how to feel. I am completely numb. To do, schedule Millie's Lentis app appointment. 18th of April, 2016. Millie just gave me a ring as a present. This is from downstairs. It's one of those gaudy plastic things you get from a vending machine. So wait, she noticed that? I no longer wear the wedding ring. So is this torn out? She notices everything. She made me a card with just two of us on it. To go, not to go. Ali is absent and I was strangely hurt at first. Twisted. Then. Controlling? Maybe it is a good thing. It is just two of us from now on. That's very sad. It is very sad. This is, this is definitely a solemn story. It's very deep. 13th of June. Perhaps mummy is haunting our little girl. This is this is this is a good good game. I know it's very simple, it's very it's not simple, it's complex. It brings up it brings up a very human aspect, and that's why I believe the disclaimer was put at the beginning of this video game. Is because it brings up a lot of primal human emotions, uh, certainly fear. Is this Millie's bedroom? I believe it is. 28th of August, 2015. 
Millie has found Ali's golf clubs and wants me to teach her how to play golf. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with golf anymore. No. Just looking at her club sends waves of pain to the pits of my stomach. Sorry, Millie. But wasn't that in 2016 when she died? Not 2015? I might be wrong, but I'm sensing a time... I'm sensing a time lapse, perhaps. And perhaps I'm entirely wrong, like usually. Evening. Met with Steve before he goes to China. Drinking games. Wordy of the animal explorers. Bad. The ultimate question is to visit family with Millie. But can't find... Can't bring myself to do it. Dinner ready? Millie? Oh, that creeps me out. Is that the alarm clock? What is that? What is that? Is it a box? I don't like that box. So there, there is this shift feature, and I'm just going to go downstairs and turn off the oven, I believe. Where was the oven again? Was it, yeah, it was this way. It was over here. It's getting very loud. Very loud. Ah, broke. <laughs> oh my, no, no. This is a horror game, everyone. This is definitely... A horror game. Preparing myself for a shock. What's wrong? Where are you? Oh, wow. In the basement? No. Millie? What? What is this? that was a bad ending I'm not entirely sure what I need to be doing um, I'm gonna go check the oven and see if it's on because if it is that means I did something entirely wrong perhaps yeah perhaps alright so I'll go back up to Millie's room and see what I actually need to do so I'll be right back wait a second I believe everything's reverted back. Wait a second, this diary, this diary wasn't in here. It was on, it was downstairs on that bookshelf, or that... This is new. This is entirely new. Okay. 13th of June. Mama is in better place. That is not home. Home is the best place. So... Aunt Sally says, why? I can see Mama in my mind. So why the monster picture? So it it appears at the very least on the surface unless I've entered a randomized mechanic of the game that we've entered the sequential events properly unless again I look is that door? No. Unless 
I've done something entirely wrong. I have to give this to the developer just because of the amount of immersion that you've created because this is certainly better than any VR game that I've ever played and I haven't played many but this immersion that I feel is definitely so much better than anything. Yeah, the diary, the girl's diary, Misty's diary was right here but I don't like that door. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to click on. Oh, twisted, very twisted. Am I not supposed to look around? But, <laughs> okay, this is taking a very dark turn. What is it telling me to do? Certainly not to burn it. But wait, no, that's rain, right? Yeah, that's rain. Okay. This is... This game is absolutely, absolutely great at what it's doing. It's terrifying. It's... It's immersive. It's emotionally... Oh, that's a fire. This door wasn't open before. Why do you have just a cauldron-esque... Oh, that's definitely weird. That's gonna summon some spirits. Whew. That's gonna summon very many spirits. Okay. We're gonna continue onward upstairs and pretend that everything is honky-dory great. Gumdrops. Open you. Carry onward. Carry onward. And forward. And such is that is that is such. Oh my good giddy. This ain't good. This is not good. This does not bode well for us. As a story, this is... I know the, I know so far the mechanics have been very simple. It's been very experience-wise. But it's just so... It's so good. It's so good at what it's been doing. So I'm going to go back to Misty's room. And perhaps something ghostly will be haunting us now. Again with this jewelry box. I believe it's a jewelry box. I clicked on you earlier. Yes. Seen this. This is not new information. We will carry onwards and forwards and that away if required. If required, if necessitated. That is also locked. Uh, are there any more doors that I haven't explored? Of course, the one in the deep, dark, dank hallway. Hey. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> At least not yet. <laughs> Things are inconsistent. Things are very inconsistent with this game so far. Because that oven, I I opened it and smoke was coming out. So at the very least, it should be off. But my theory about what is going to be happening is we observed a little sequence of maybe forced reality where this this home appearance right here is what he's seeing right now, or at least wants to see. But what actually it is, is that box TV upstairs in the bedroom is down here, and there's a lonely chair. That's what I believe is actual reality versus what he's seeing and what he expects. And doesn't want me to go back down and get jump scared? I have no idea. I've, I've found a bug. I found a bug. I found a bug. You see, I want to believe that if there's a way to turn out the lights, that there's a way to find whatever is here. Maybe this. I, I, I don't think I read this. 28th of August, 2015. Millie has found Ali's golf clubs and wants me to teach her how to play golf. Yes, I did. 24th of June, 2016. Finally able to spend time with Millie. This is new. This is new. I feel terrible that it's taken so long for us to get out like this. Millie loves the snow. <laughs> she's getting better at skiing. It's been so long that she's a little out of practice, but just watching her fills me with happiness. That's awesome. So, 
for some reason, I overlooked this entirely. 29th of June, 2016. Entirely. Sally joined us today. Really loved the extra company. Sally. They spent all day building snowmen. Millie had a little nosebleed. She might have spent too much time playing in the snow. <laughs> Sally keeps ranting about how Millie seems too pale. I'll head out and ride home to the scarf in the morning to make sure she's rugged up enough. <laughs> rugged up. Rugged up enough. Okay. So 100, the appointment, move, blood tests, Saturday, buy, buy something for Millie. Buy presents for HQ people. Appointment. Fiona Wood, MC. So this is... 2nd of August, this 2016. establishes a new woman in his life. <sighs> Acute myeloid leukemia. Oh. Sounds like some kind of beast from another dimension. Yeah. Millie doesn't deserve this. She's so sweet, innocent, and trusting. Why was I so blind? I saw all the signs. Did I convince myself that nothing was wrong? How could I let my beautiful Millie down like this? But we will fight. Millie may be young, but is strong. <laughs> she can push past this. With her fighting spirit and me at her side, That's right. this cancer doesn't stand a chance. No, it doesn't. I'm going to take her for me, too. You got to slap her in the face. So, for some reason, I entirely missed that. And I really hope that that activated what I've been missing out on this entire time because I haven't been able to do anything or continue outward and explore because of something. Ah, oh, this is the clickable that we've been missing out on so much, but I don't think this was blinking before. Okay. Oh, what? What? What is that? That's warped. What? What what is this? What what are we watching? What are we watching? Is this what comes on TV at one in the morning, along with all the crime soap operas? This is very odd. It's very, it's almost disturbing, on a very deep. Oh, hell, um, ah, that's what comes on at one a.m. in the morning. I do believe I see what I'm doing. Um. And I believe I just found out why this game is called Remembrance. You see, he's burning these mementos of his child, I believe, in order to get over his grief and forget. Whereas he should be doing the opposite and actually remember. So, what I believe that our main objective as of right now is to find one more memento. Because there's, there's, linear, there's this linear ideal of three objects and three things, three events. So, I believe we're just missing one more thing, and please don't be this... Okay, thank goodness. I believe that's the end game door. <laughs> and so, what I believe I need to do is just go through the house and find objects that Millie specifically has made in order to forget. Um, I don't know how this entirely goes along with his wife, outside of the obvious loss and genetic transference of the cancer to Millie, but... How did the fridge get open? Is your refrigerator running? Then you better go catch it! Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm gonna stare at the pretty TV. I'm gonna stare at the pretty TV and you guys, because you guys aren't scary. Oh. No, no, no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Waiting. Waiting. I don't like how watery all of reality has become. Is that your wedding band? This is the final object, I believe. And if you recall in the diary entries, this is Millie's plastic ring because he stopped wearing his wedding band. This is sad. This is this is very this is a very provocative story. It's very sad and it's very good at what it's doing. It's it's very good. This is an awesome game. I really like this game. Darkness. So what I believe that we've done is we've gone into reality. And when we open up this door, there's gonna be trash bags by the kitchen garbage. There's gonna be a TV on. 
and it's going to be light outside. I believed, at least. At the very least, it's given us this illusion of reality. But there's always comfort in daytime, isn't there? No, it's this stupid radio. Grief causes you to leave yourself. You step outside in your little coat. Oh. Huh. You can't feel grief unless you've had love before. Grief is the final outcome of love. Because it's love lost. Yeah. I was really thinking that this was going to be a horror game, but it was not. It is a wonderful experience. It, it, it tips the edge on paranormal, perhaps, but Troy Martins, this was great. Uh, Brady Johnston, great. It's just Sasha Lamont, great. Um, and Matt Von Wilpert, awesome. I, I just... Nick Parker. This game was so good. It was so good. I'm just gonna let him roll. Sorry, Ben. Um, I just... I really liked this game. It, I was expecting so much for it to be a horror game. I was really expecting a ghost to pop out, maybe a few jump scares. But unfortunately, no. This was entirely different than what I perceived it to be. And, it was, and for that, I'm thankful. It was such a good experience kind of game. Now, it certainly had horror aspects into it, which I enjoyed, but... The overall feel of the game was reverence, respect, and just awesome. Awesome in general. This was such a good, wonderful game. I just, I really like this. And this really puts you into the deep mind of someone with loss. And that's what I appreciate and can respect about this game as a whole. Is there anything else I can do? I do not believe so. So... I'm afraid that we've come to the end of our time as this piano music sees us off. Join me next time for hopefully a horror game and another great experience because this certainly is an awesome, awesome game. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want to play it for yourself, I'll include the link in the description down below for you guys just so that you can get a taste of what it feels like because this is genuinely a great and awesome game. So ladies and gentlemen, I must bid you a good evening and a good night. I'll see ya.